To make these beautiful left-leaning increases, first work to a place that is one stitch before the spot where you need to add a new stitch to the work. For example, if I want to add a new stitch over here, I would stop right now when I'm one stitch before that place. Bring the yarn to the back of the work and then insert the tip of the right needle from left to right into the first stitch on the left needle like this. And then ease the left needle out, slipping the stitch knitwise to the right needle. Then we're gonna do something very interesting. We're gonna insert the tip of the left needle into the space between the first two stitches from the tip of the right needle. We go front to back like this, right between the stitches. And then we wrap the tip of the left needle with the yarn from back to front. If you hold yarn in your right hand, then you will do it like this. If you hold yarn in your left hand, then you will do it like this. So we go from the back of the left needle, over the needle and to the back of the work again. And then we pull this wrap through the space between two stitches, making a new stitch. This is our pulled stitch. Now we're gonna knit the slip stitch through the back loop and we're gonna do it in the most efficient way possible. Here's how. We insert the tip of the left needle from left to right into that stitch and we do it in such a way that left needle is at the front of the right needle, like this. See? And then we wrap the tip of the right needle with the working yarn. If you hold yarn in your right hand, you will do it like this. If you hold yarn in your left hand, you will do it like this. And pull this wrap through the stitch, knitting it through the back loop and then slip the stitch off the left needle as we usually do when we knit a stitch. And then we uh, slip the pulled stitch, the new stitch that we've just added to the work, purlwise from the left needle to the right needle, like this. And continue to work in the main pattern of your project until you get to the very end of the row or the round. When we add these increases, in every other row or round and stack them on top of each other, they will form a lovely line with increases slanting to the left of that line. And to make the line consistent, purl the newly added stitches in the next row or knit them in the next round if you add these increases to a seamless project. When we pair these increases, with the right slanting pulled increases discussed at tenroseday.com slash pulled dash increase, we'll get a beautiful texture that will work great for shaping raglan lines of top-down sweaters, crowns of top-down hats, or different varieties of shawls. If you find this tutorial helpful, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified every time I publish a new video. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.